Full Color 4. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. A Great Dane makes a good family... Much poorer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Pat, Pat Carroll. <laughs> In college, in college, mm -hmm. students live in a... State of confusion. <laughs> no, no, in a dorm. Mel Dorme. Oh. And I'm Tom Kennedy, name of our show, You Don't Say. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. You've helped us welcome our stars, Pat Carroll and Mel Torme. And, of course, we all welcome back our current champion uh, and contract administrator, Errol Stevenson, and our challenger, Judy Stangler. Now, John Harlan, tell our viewers what that first name will be. Tom, we're going to the bonus board. Errol had just won a game. You remember that. And he won $100. And we'll be taking him to the bonus board in just a minute. But right now, for up to 12-hour relief of head cold symptoms, contact capsules. Oh, got a cold? Poor baby. You need some sympathetic understanding. Relax. Loosen your tie. Put your feet up. How'd you catch that cold anyway? A great big strong man like you. Listen, I've got something for you. Contact. Just one capsule. Those busy little time pills will help keep those mean old sniffles and sneezes away. All day or all night long. Here. That's a good boy. You'll start feeling better in minutes. And you'll keep on feeling better. There. For as long as 12 hours, Contact and I will take real good care of you. You'll see. All right. Say, listen, as you know, several months ago, we started giving away cars, and now we're starting something new again. When a contestant wins a car, the home viewer that sent in that entry will not win 100,000 uh, top value stamps. I'm very sorry. No. Instead, that viewer will win 1 million top value stamps. Yes, indeed. That's... That's right. You heard it right. One million top value stamps can be redeemed for a car, a boat, a fur coat, or any more, any of the more than 3,000 items in the top value catalog. Remember, only when the car is won on your entry, you receive one million stamps. And now, of course, you all remember the object of our game, to convey a famous name and make your partner say a word that sounds like part of that famous name. Now, we're going to go to the bonus board, and Pat, you can help Errol. The first clue is worth $300. Errol, which clue first? Middle clue. Middle clue reads, and on Halloween, the children play trick, or, or pardon me, treat or... Trick. 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 Did you get it? Trick. Blank. Blank. Do you have Patrick a guess? Patrick... Patrick... Dennis. Patrick Wayne. I'm sorry. Now for $200, which clue next, top or bottom? Top. All right. A poker player stands... <laughs> there you go. Patrick. Now Patrick. that narrows it down. Do you have a guess? Patrick Knowles. Patrick Knowles. I'm sorry for one hundred dollars. Your third Don't and final clue read: a house for female chickens could be called a what? What would you call that? A coop. No, female chickens. Yeah. But a house for a, a female chicken a would be a coop. No, come, Carol, tell her, tell her what it is. Tell me, Pat. <laughs> a house for female fuck. chickens could be called a henry. Patrick Henry. Patrick Henry is the name for $100. Henry. That's exactly what it is. Is that correct? Of co it is now. You know, yes. Get me to a Henry. Get me to a Henry. <laughs> John Harlan, would you please tell us who submitted the entry? That was sent Switch. in by Mrs. Robert Merrin of 24 Porter Place, Montclair, in New Jersey. Okay, back to you, Tom. All right, John. Well, it's fun day here on You Don't Say. And uh, first of all, I want to tell you that uh, our current champ, Errol Stevenson, is now over with Mel Torme, and we have a new partner. She is a student. She's on Pat Carroll's side. Would you help us welcome Judy Stangler? Welcome, Judy. 
Good luck to you. And now we get underway. Pat and Mel, would you look at our first name, please? From the Western Range to the Eastern Stage, Robert Horton. Missing word, of course, must not be a proper name. Mr. Torme, have the champ on your side that gives you the first clue. Oh, boy. Um... <laughs> Uh, I can't even think of... of uh, Try something else. Uh, <laughs> it gets me off the hook. Now, um, a guy who uh, sticks one up with a gun is called a... Robert. 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 Five seconds. Robert Young. Sorry. Pat? Good luck, Pat. It's <laughs> <laughs> a wonderful name. Still um, laughing about the Henry? Yes, of course. <laughs> Judy, fasten your safety belt. <laughs> um, a person who might be considered uh, rather dull at a, a party. Uh, wouldn't be called a dullard, uh, but he might be called, not a poop out, but he might be called another name, and that would be... Boar? Boar. Boar, Bored, Borson, Borlard, Borlard. Five seconds. Borlard, Borlard, mm -mm. Borson, Bor, um, Robert, Bor, Robert Blore? No. Sorry, Mel? Okay. <clears throat> if you're from the deep south and you had a habit of dropping your G's at the end of a word, and if it turned out that uh, you were in pain, your arm was in pain, you'd say, boy, my arm is hurting. Robert Horton. That's the name, Robert Horton. There you go. And that's one point for the fellows. One to nothing to score. We'll be back with more if you don't say in just a minute right now. Sunsweet has developed a brand new kind of prune. Let's see how thrilled this gentleman is to find out. I'll warn you in advance, I'm not going to like your prune. I see. And why do you say that? I say that for a very simple reason. I don't like prunes. Mm -hmm. And why? For one uh... thing, prunes are wrinkled, and I don't like wrinkled fruit. You don't? No, I don't like wrinkled fruit at all. And then there's the matter of the pits. Disgusting. Yes. Well, what do you do with a prune pit once it's in your mouth? There's no way of getting rid of a prune pit gracefully. I agree. That's why Sunsweet has developed this brand new pitted prune. You see? No pits. What do you mean, no pits? I mean no pits. Go ahead, try one. Oh, well, yes. May as well get it over. No pits. No pits. How do they do that? They do it. Well, they're very sweet and moist. Yes. Has Sunsweet managed to change your mind with their brand new pitted prune? Possibly. But still rather badly wrinkled, you know. Today the pits, tomorrow the wrinkles. Sunsweet marches on. All right, Judy Stangler and Earl Stevenson, next name. King of Egypt until he abdicated in 1952, King Farouk. Errol, first clue is yours. The center of an egg has a yellow portion, and this is called a... Uh... Yolk. 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 Yokel. Five seconds. Yolson. Jolson. Yolk. Yokohama. Yokohama, Mom. <laughs> don't. Oh, oh. <laughs> yolk, yolk. Time, time, yolk. Mel. Mel. For somebody with Quinky's disease, he does pretty well. <laughs> I'm listening, aren't I? If someone is, is very unbiased and tries to let everyone have its, its way or, or is equal in his decisions, he is said to be very unprejudiced, fair, fair yoke, fair yoke. Uh, five seconds. Fair yoke, fair yoke, fair yoke, fair yoke. Oh, oh, Farouk! Farouk! Sorry, Pat. James we... J. Farouk. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Errol. On uh, ladies' fingers, they often rear, wear bands and another name for this band. If you be... think I'm going to say Ring Farouk, you're crazy. It's King Farouk. That's it. King Farouk. I'm sorry, Pat. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but listen, what was his first name? <laughs> James J. That's it. But you have to get the title. King James J. Errol, you have a blitz game going for you. Two to nothing is the score. Pat and Mel. Next name. Audience is going to play along with us. Mel, first clue is yours. All right, so, uh, if you're about to enter this country's one of this country's armed services, you might become a soldier, a sailor, or a marine. Marine. Five seconds. Marine O'Sullivan. I'm sorry. All right, Pat. Hi, uh, Judy. Uh, the thing that grows on top of your head is called hair. Marine O'Hara. That's, That's the name, Marine O'Hara. We deserve that. Oh, how close can you come, huh? <laughs> Two to one is the score. Harold's favor. We'll be back with more if you don't say in just a little bit. Right now, here's a message from Alberto Culver. Yesterday, you could get rid of gray hair this way. Or try lotions that call for plastic caps and special rinses. Or hair colors that need peroxide. No more. Today, new. A discovery so important, it's earned the name VO5. Alberto VO5 hair color lotion. Just one step it's on, gray's gone. Your natural color is prettier too. VO5 hair color lotion. Something sure and daring about this girl. Beneath that beautiful hair, confidence in basic black. Her secret, rinse away dandruff shampoo and rinse. The shampoo, luxurious necessity for clean, flake-free hair. The rinse, medicated for continuing dandruff protection you can count on, shampoo to shampoo. Leaves your hair tangle-free, ready for anything. Rinse away, shampoo and rinse. We're playing You Don't Say today with Pat Carroll and Mel Torme. For the consolation prize on You Don't Say, players will fly as our guest, the city of their choice anywhere in North America, including all of our 50 United States. TWA, whose luxurious Starstream jets flying coast to coast in the United States and across the Atlantic to Europe, Africa, and Asia, offer a warm welcome to the world of Trans World Airlines. And some lucky player may win a thrilling new 1967 Wide Track Pontiac Tempest convertible. Enjoy the beauty and performance of Pontiac. The great one is here. The high style, wide track Pontiac. We'll be back with more if you don't say in just a minute. Right now, a word about new Excedrin from Bristol Myers. Wait, haven't I seen you on television? Could be. I made a commercial for, tele for uh, Excedrin. Excedrin? Aren't those commercials phony? No, there's nothing phony about it at all. They just asked me for what I thought of it, and I told them. Just as simple as that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's difficult to get people to, to, to try something new. And, and uh, it was the same way it was. I was a doubting Thomas, too. But just as soon as I did, I was sold on it. What's so great about Excedrin? Seriously. Well, you know, I man to man. It must be the ingredient they put in it. It must be what they put in it. I hope they never change it, because this is what takes my headache away. And it's the greatest stuff that ever happened, as far as I'm concerned. Do you know you're being photographed by the Excedrin cameras right now? No. Huh? You did it to me again, you. It's true what people say about Excedrin. Excedrin analgesic tablets, the extra strength pain reliever. Judy Stangler, Errol Stevenson, next name. Peter Pan's flitting friend was Tinkerbell. Judy. Um... Young boys, when they have a car, they have a Model T Ford or something of this nature, and in their teenage years, they are said to um, fix this car up, and they, uh, you don't really play with it, that's a bad word, but they might um, fiddle around with the uh, parts, and this is said to be... Customizing? Stripping. <laughs> Well, listen, I don't know what you did when you were a boy, but they stripped cars. Midnight Auto Support. Oh, Judy, I'm sorry. I just never mm. played with cars. <laughs> I'm awful sorry. I don't know that Fessor. term. Fessor. Oh, well, he's a boy. <clears throat> the um, New York area has an elevated rail system, and this system is commonly referred to as... Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I see what he's done. Right. Do you realize, Errol? No, I don't. Well, we'll explain it to you later. Judy, next clue. Um, hmm. 
try something else. Uh, cans that food come in are made of a, a uh, material. It's not aluminum. Another is called a type of can is a tin. Tinnel. Tin L or L tin. Tin L. Tin. Five seconds. Tin strip car. <laughs> <laughs> tin hot rod. Time. Arrow. The opposite of his is hers. Tin. Hurston. Kirsten. Her. Tin. Hers. Tinners. Tinners. Five seconds. Forget it. Just take my five seconds. I have no idea. <laughs> no. no idea. All right, Judy. Final oh, round. Um, hmm. Another word for an automobile is called a car. Tin car er L. Tin car 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 L. Tina. Tin car L. Tin Corral, Tin Corral. Time, Tell Errol, all final all clue. Oh. <laughs> um, we, if we're good, go to heaven. If we're bad, we go to... Tinkerbell. That's the name, <laughs> Tinkerbell. Very good. <laughs> you tried to trap me into saying a bad word, folks. <laughs> yeah. You notice I wouldn't say it in this show. Uh, that's right. You realize I'll never get to Never Never Land? <laughs> I'm sorry, Judy, and I always applaud it. Yesterday we had Nana on the show. <laughs> yeah. Nana. Uh -huh. Do you know what she wanted you to do with the car now? Tinker. Yeah. And you were going to go for the word L. But you said the word elevated in your sentence, and L is derived from elevated. Right. But you've won the game anyway, Errol. $100 oh, is sorry. yours, and Judy, this is only your first loss. So stand by, Mel and Errol. <laughs> Bonus board time. Which clue Merrill first? Merrill and Errol. Merrill and Errol. <laughs> That's well. A middle clue. All right, for $300, eggs are boiled, poached, scrambled, or... Fried. Okay. Fred. Mm -hmm. Any guesses? Middle position. Manfred, uh... Which clue next for $200? No idea. Uh, bottom clue. Okay. Truck drivers call coffee a cup of... Joe. Put them together. Joe. Joe, Joe Fred. Joe Fred Bill. No. Joe. Joe, Joe Fred. Joe Fred. For, $100, your, for $100, your third and final clue reads, one-seventh of a week is a... Joe Friday. Joe Friday's the name, $100. Joe Friday. <laughs> Sergeant Joe Friday. They were fried, yeah, Joe Friday. And this gives you Errol Stevenson a total of $400. Congratulations. John Harlan, tell us about it, please. Tom, that card was sent in by Judith Ann Johnson of box number 23, Marco, Indiana. So she'll receive 100,000 top value stamps. From the top value stamp catalog, you can choose from more than 3,000 items for your home or outdoors, or just to pamper yourself a little. Once again, here's Tom Kennedy. <laughs> We'll be back with more of you don't say in just a minute. Right now, this informative minute with General Foods. Watch. All right, we're going to get it. Corte Madera, California. The Granada School. This parent-teacher's group has served Sanka coffee without knowing it. That's why I told you when I first came for coffee, I probably wouldn't be back for anymore. Yeah. Remember that? But you do a lot. I like it so while I'm back. Have you ever tried Sanka coffee? No, no uh, but I do like a good cup of coffee. And you think that is a good cup? This is good. Very good. Surprising Sanka coffee. 97% caffeine free, but caffeine has no taste in coffee. Instant and ground. It's been a long day, Phil, and you're ready for your can of beefy dog food. Dinner time at last. But wait a minute. Gaines Prime takes the place of canned dog food. A moist beefy dinner in a packet? Easy for her, sure, but beefy? Huh, you don't know. My Prime is beefy. Moist, tasty beef, and lots of other good things. Yes, Phil, Prime has made your day. It's beefy for you, easy for her. Easy, beefy Prime. We are starting a new game. Pat Carroll, Mel Torme, next name. Journalist and political pundit, Walter Lippmann. We're going to give it Mel. Parts of your face, uh, the, the, the portion of your face that you talk with uh, is called the mouth, but it's all, there's another name for the mouth. Uh, and it's called the... Five seconds. <clears throat> Mouth, lips, <laughs> lips, <laughs> lip, 
ton. Uh, Let more time, Pat. Uh, the opposite of man. Uh, <laughs> Easy, Pat. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm ashamed to face America. <laughs> Judy, Judy, Judy. Now, I can't say this because the word is incorporated in it. So, um, uh, if she is of the opposite sex, of the female sex, you are of the male sex, and the male is called a... Man. I know who it is, but I can't think of it. Lipman. Yeah, five seconds. Lipman. Lipman. Time. <laughs> All right. Steady as you go now, Pat. Saved by the bell. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, Judy, Judy, listen to me now, intentively. Oh, 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 oh I hope I don't blow this. Uh, Judy, uh, when you go to a restaurant, the fellow who uh, serves you food is called a... Waiter. Walter Lipman. That's, That's the name, it. Walter Lipman. <laughs> Lawrence Walter Lippmann? Lippmann. Is it Lippmann? <laughs> so, <laughs> girl, she got a point. One in a row. The Count of Monte Cristo. Judy. Um, when, uh, when there's, somebody loves there's a game called tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe. And if you're not making a circle, when you make the other mark, mm -hmm. you make it with a certain movement of the hand. Oh, it's... Hmm? No, I can't go for that. Well, try something else. Um, <laughs> uh, you play Scrabble? When, when children are baptized, yes. they are given a name. This act of baptizing is called... Baptism. No. <laughs> They're given a name. They're christened. Uh, five seconds. Christen. Christian. Chris. Chris. Christian. Christian. Yes or no? Arrow. <clears throat> On our foot, we have little extremities, and one of these is called... Uh, Toe. Christo, Crusoe. Yeah, five seconds. Christo, Christopher, Christoph, Chris, Christo. Judy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Judy. Ooh. When, <laughs> when someone is going to get up on a horse, the act of getting up on the horse is called Mount Count of Monte Cristo. That's the name. <laughs> Now, Judy, this is a blitz game for you so far. Two to nothing. Pat and Mel, next name. <laughs> Author, playwright, humorist, artist, James Thurber. Patricia, first clue. I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> <clears throat> Judy? I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try it, Judy. Uh, roses, there are different uh, types of roses, but the one I'm thinking of, I'm not going to use. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, oh, Judy. No, I've got to go back to this. Uh, uh, the rose that I'm thinking of, uh, they call a particular name because it's uh, got a, a bulb that... Uh, you stick in the ground, however you grow roses. So it's not like the type of rose that it is, but it's the kind of rose that has a round bulb. And uh, you you don't go to my gardening club. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, all right, well then we'll go for no, some. No, no, oh, we it. have to mm. finish mm. with the roses. Uh huh. Well, that's the only thing I can say about that rose, and it's called of this type or kind. A seedling, a uh, mm. um, stalk, mm. uh, bud. Five uh, seconds. Bald, before mm. I said bald. Um, oh, my grandmother will kill me. <laughs> That'll make two grandmothers. Mel. As a wonderful performer in show business uh, whose name is Harry Richmond. And uh, he used to have a saying, okay? <laughs> okay. And uh, he always used to put his hand up to his breast and say, like that. Now, they say that Harry Richmond lisped slightly. And this saying was a two-word saying. The first one was, yes. Thur. <laughs> Thur. Thur. Five Thur. seconds. Thurvantes? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That was yesterday. That, that, that. Yeah, but it's very Castilian. That's wonderful. Uh, uh, Judy. 
Yeah, that was that. Harry Richmond is right. And uh, when uh, you're very cold, and many times in cartoons, you know, in, in cartoon scripts, strips, when someone is very cold, they have the little box above their head, and they're shivering like this, and and they're shaking all over. And the sound that is in the cartoon strip is Thur Thur Thurber, Thurber, Thurber. Five Thurber. seconds. <laughs> Thur James. Yeah! The least you could do, Pat, is react a little. <laughs> I tell you, I was so Do you know that the, the, we, we don't have too much time? You know the rose? Tuberous. Is that it? Yes, sir. Tuberous. Tuberous. Okay. Yeah, yeah. James Thurber won for a game. I want to give her a chance at the bonus board before the yes, time sir. runs out. Now, this, however, since Judy won a Blitz game, she's, if she gets this on the first clue, she'll win a 1967 Pontiac Tempest convertible. You cannot help her, Pat. Good luck oh, to you, Judy. Goodness. You'll have 10 seconds. Take the full 10. Which clue first and good luck? Middle. Middle clue. To cut grass with a machine is to mow think it over it's in the first mow. position mow number one what do you say judy have to call for it marilyn sorry all right pat you can help her on the next clue it's worth two hundred dollars and uh which one next judy bottom bottom clue reads nautically the floor of a ship is the hull the floor floor Oh, deck, deck. Put them together. Mo blank. Moby Dick. Moby Dick. That's the name, Moby Dick, $200. Yes. Moby Dick. And the top clue reads, the top clue you get honey from a bee, Moby Dick. And you have a total now, Judy Stangler of $300 and John Harlan. And uh, yes, John has a message, right? Tell us. That was sent in by Ruth M. Crow of 1151 Granetta Place, Bronx, New York. Back to you, Tom. We'll be back with Pat Carroll and Mel Torme in just a minute. Right now, here's a word of interest to you from Johnson Wax. It's not what you say that counts, what you don't say. Bye. <laughs> This program has been pre-recorded.